Well, what's up guys? Justin here. Today we're going to be talking about all the different ways you can control your LG mini split thermostat. So I got four thermostats here to show you. Uh, these LG videos have been pretty popular, so hopefully this will be of interest to some folks. So this thermometer, I'll show you in a second, it's basically like an infrared thermometer. You point it at something, it tells you the temperature. Pretty handy. This one is just an independent thermometer. It uh, has an outdoor thing, so I can keep track of the outdoor temperature. It has an indoor, so you can see it says indoor 72. This middle one is the thermometer that comes with one of the mini splits. So right now, it's telling me the set point. I have to push this button, and it will tell me what it thinks the temperature is. So this one's reading the temperature here at itself. So it has its own thermometer inside. This one is a wired one. We'll come back to this one in a second. But it's the same, so it has a thermometer uh, in it as well. So you can see they're all about the same, right? 71, 72. This one, if I hold it, it will kind of tell me it's about the same temperature. It's about 72-ish sitting on my desk here. So, okay, that's cool. One of the other things is important to know, we, you know, we have these 10 foot ceilings and I was surprised at how much the temperature will be different from top to bottom. So this is an interior wall. If I come down here and point my thermometer gun at the wall, you can see way down here at the bottom, it says it's about 70, 69, kind of. It's close to the slab and that's part of the reason. But if you keep moving up, about this high around my desk height is the same kind of 70 maybe 71 ish if i go up on this ladder all the way up on the ceiling you can see that it gets a little bit warmer kind of maybe as much as 72 some spots it might be 72 at the ceiling so it can be about a three degree temperature spread why is that important? Let's take a look at this thing next. You move my ladder and I'll show you. Okay, here's the reason all that matters. Uh, if you look at this thing here, that is the thermometer that the unit uses to decide to turn itself on and off if you don't have this wired in uh, controller. So that remote that I showed you that comes with the unit the room temperature button tells you the temperature where the little handheld is, but the thing itself decides what to do based on the temperature up here. So this is one of the things we were struggling with, is trying to figure out why the unit up in the ceiling would come on or turn off. It was just, it was hard to understand what it was doing because it was seemingly different from where we were at. So when we were in cooling season, it often seemed like it kept running and it shouldn't be. In heating season, it seems like, oh, why is it turning off when it's not at the set point yet? And so things started to make a lot more sense once we attached this wired one, which plugs into the PCB up here. If you're trying to figure out how to install it, the directions tell you to wire it into this terminal block, this yellow one. But we took that little tail, they basically attach a tail from this side and they plug it into the PCB. We took that tail and used it um, down on the wired remote itself and then just plugged it straight into the thing with this extension cable. So uh, let's go back and look at the remotes now. Okay, here we are back at the remotes. So you can see uh, the, one of the things that's different about them also is that this handheld remote doesn't give you any feedback about what the unit's doing. So if you push a button, it will just send a command, I guess, and assume it was successful. So for example, with this one, if I change the temperature, let's say I change the set point up to 70, then you can see this one just changed. So that one was, you know, 69, I push the button and it's 70. The same is not true in reverse. If I change the temperature on this one back down, then it says, okay, it's 69, but this one doesn't know it. It's gonna sit there telling you it's still 70. So you never really know what it's doing or why based on the handheld remote they gave you, and it makes me crazy. So we decided we're gonna start using these wired ones for all the units, and we're still in a place where we can get them installed without too much hassle. So that we're gonna do. The other thing about this wired one is it does have more features. So for example, you can, 
There's more uh, installer settings you can change, and it does seem to support the concept of a dual set point where you can have it come on. You know, if it gets too cold, it'll go into heating mode. If it gets too hot, it'll go into cooling mode, um, all without kind of changing what mode it's in. So we haven't actually made sure that works, but supposedly it will support that as well. So anyway, I guess that's it for this one. If you're going to install one of these, highly recommend the wired remote. Get the extension cable and just plan on it from the beginning and you won't be as crazy as I was trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, that's it. See you later.